Hi, I'm Daniela Zelina from Scholastic Kids Press Corps. I'm at the Scholastic World Headquarters in New York City for the kickoff of the Scholastic Summer Reading Challenge. Come with me to meet the guest authors and take the reading quiz. I'm also going to talk to author R.L. Stein. Did you like to watch scary movies when you were a kid? Yeah, when I was a kid, there was these great horror movies. My brother and I used to go to the movies every Saturday morning and see scary movies. And there were movies like Creature from the Black Lagoon and The Beast from 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. And it came from outer space. And we loved them. And I think they were very important to me because a lot of the Goosebumps books have titles just like those movies. What was your favorite scary movie when you were a kid? Uh, there was a movie, a very weird movie, called Dr. T and the Thousand Fingers. And it was actually written by Dr. Seuss. And it was about a scary music school where kids were trapped and they had to stay. And there were hundreds of them and they had to play a giant piano. And the piano twisted all around. and hundred kids playing the piano at once. It was really creepy. Later I wrote a Goosebumps book called Piano Lessons Can Be Murder. What scared you as a kid? What scares you now? Well, now I don't know, but I, when I was a kid I was a very fearful kid and I was afraid of a lot of things. And I was afraid, uh, afraid of the dark and I was afraid to go down in the basement and every night I'd be riding my bike around the neighborhood at night but I, and I, would, I always thought somebody would be hiding in the garage waiting for me. So I used to get off my bike and I'd throw my bike into the garage and run into the house every night. And it, was, you know, it wasn't good to be so afraid of things. But now when I write these scary books I can think back and I can remember that feeling of panic and what it was like and I can use that in my stories. When did you know that you wanted to be an author? What made you want to focus on scary books? Well, well, I started writing when I was nine years old. I don't know, I think I was a weird kid. I don't know why I liked it so much. I found this old typewriter and I dragged it into my room and I started typing funny books and funny joke books and stories and things. And I was nine years old and I just stay in my room writing. I think I knew I wanted to be a writer uh, when I was nine. My mother would be outside my door, you know, and she'd say, go outside and play. What's the matter with you? Go outside. And I'd say, it's boring out there. Type, 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 type. What were you like as a kid? I was very shy and very, um, but funny. I was like a class clown. I mean, I was shy, but I would always yell out jokes in class and always try to be funny. That's all, you know, I never wanted to be scary. I always wanted to be funny. And when I started writing and everything, I wrote funny books. I wrote a hundred joke books for kids and funny stuff. I never even thought about being scary. How do you come up with ideas for your stories? You know what I do? I usually, I don't think I work like most authors. I usually think of a title first. And then I try to come up with a story to go with the title. And I think that's backwards. I think most authors get an idea and they start working on the idea and then later they think of the title. But I always think of the title first and that's how I get the ideas. The newest Goosebumps Horrorland book is called Little Shop of Hamsters. And I love that title. I thought it was really hilarious, but I didn't have a story. I had to think, how do you make hamsters scary? What do you do? Well, how do you, you know? And it took me a long time to come up with the story, but I liked the title so much, I had to think of something. What do you have planned next for all your fans? Next, I'm just about to sign a contract with Scholastic to do six more Goosebumps Horrorland books. I finished first 19 in the Horrorland series, and now I'm going to do six more and bring it up to 25 books. Reporting from the Scholastic Summer Challenge, this is Danielle Azalina, Scholastic Kids Press Corps. Keep reading!